Hello everyone, Brendan McCauley with Humanum Project. We got a good question for today in question and answer. What is toxic masculinity? Well, we gotta first know what authentic masculinity is to know what toxic masculinity is. And maybe you're in the mindset of boys are just boys. Are there any good men out there? You might be a guy and be thinking, what does it mean to be a man? We gotta first address authentic masculinity to then address toxic masculinity. So why, oh God, did you create us this way as men? Why the testosterone? Why the strength? What's your purpose? In the beginning before sin, John Paul II would say, this power that we have as men is the power to express love, to become a sincere gift of self, the power to serve for the good of others. God instructed Adam to what? To guard and protect. That there's a responsibility that men have. There's a strength to serve. That's a good way to think about masculinity. And it's personified in Jesus Christ. He is the Word made flesh. He is the God-man who became a male to reveal to all men what it means to be a man, what masculinity is. And we see all throughout Jesus' life, he came to serve, not to be served. He came to give his life so that we might have life. And the culmination of his mission here on earth was a total gift of self. This is my body given up for you. The crucifixion is the icon of masculinity, sacrifice. And we're invited, men, we're invited to be conformed to Jesus. One day I went on a mission trip in Calcutta, India when I was 21 years old and I was sitting down praying in the, the mother house where Mother Teresa was buried and I was praying in the chapel and Jesus said to me, Brendan, I want you to go pray next to Mother Teresa's grave. So I listened and I went downstairs and I knelt down next to Mother Teresa's grave and I went into this powerful meditation where I was sitting on a hill overlooking this big city and I was 21 years old. And Jesus walks over to me and sits down on this hill and he was also 21 years old. And he put his arm around me like a bro and said, Brendan, you wanna know how to love a woman rightly? And I was like, yeah, I've been trying for a long time. He's like, you gotta give yourself first entirely to me so that I might be the one in you and I might be the one loving through you for my love is far greater than yours. Masculinity is to be conformed to the person of Jesus Christ, the true man. I once heard it say a good definition to masculinity, which is not just the ability to show emotion, because we might be thinking men are just stone rocks. They don't show emotion. And it's like, come on guys, you can cry. It's okay to show emotion. It's not just the ability to show emotion. It's the ability to order and control emotion in the service for what is good. Jesus cried. Jesus was angry. Where do we see this? Well, there was an injustice happening where people were selling goods in the temple area. And what did Jesus do? He flipped the tables and said, get out of my father's house. He didn't suppress his anger as if it's something bad. He ordered it towards what is good, what is right, what is just. And also Jesus wept at the sight of Lazarus, his friend who passed away. It said he wept. So yes, it's the ability to show emotion, but more specifically, the ability to control and order it. For example, if you're a husband or father and someone barged in, broke into your home, and you had this feeling and emotion of, I'm afraid, I wanna go hide in the corner and cry. That wouldn't be masculine. The masculine thing to do in that moment would be yes, to acknowledge the fear, but it's to say, you know what? I have a duty right now to protect and safeguard my family. And so it's the ability to control and order it. So what is toxic masculinity then? It's everything that is not authentically masculine. And there are really two ways in which toxic masculinity is manifested. The first is passive. So it's a guy that in the midst of injustice, He's not going to stand up for what is right. He's just going to sit back. I'm not going to do anything. He's going to be quiet. He's going to be passive. He's not going to take responsibility. He's not going to own up to his mistakes. Passivity. That's a form of toxic masculinity. And the other one is not passive, but aggressive. And what I mean by that is domination. 
when Adam and Eve sinned, God said to Eve, your husband is going to rule over you. He's going to dominate you. That power that he had in the beginning to express love, the power to serve, became the power, the strength to control and manipulate and to use. And this is where we get toxic masculinity. And we instinctively know that's not who men are supposed to be. So men, I want to invite you. You want to know what it means to be a man? Turn your gaze to Jesus. Enter his life and ask for the grace. Lord, help me not to suppress this power and just be passive, but help me to order it, control it, so that it can be in the service for others. You have a strength and it is good. But masculinity is good. It's meant to be an icon of Jesus Christ and an icon of the love of the Father. So if you enjoyed this video, I invite you, share it with anyone you think would enjoy it. Subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave a question in our comments and we might get around to it in the next video. God bless.